Let me find a transparent image of Winnie the Pooh. Nope, I'm not going to find a transparent image. That way I can show you guys how to also remove the background. So I want something pretty simple for this tutorial. So I'm just going to use, no, we're not going to use that one. I'll try this one. When I'm picking an image, I like to look down here. If you can see where my mouse is at the image size because <clears throat> that's going to make a difference when you are converting your image. Maybe I should try something else. Let's try Hello Kitty. We'll just do this one. So I'm going to save it to my computer. And then I'm going to come over here to Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to create a new uh, document. And I have a custom document set. It's 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter inches, which is basically what the Cricut will cut. Just let it open. I don't know why it's taking so long. So now I have my blank canvas. And this, <clears throat> excuse me, this should be the same regardless of whether you're on a Mac or a PC. It should, everything should be fairly the same. So I'm going to go up here to File and Open. And I'm going to grab that Hello Kitty document and open it. Um, I'm going to make her smaller and you just select your arrow here and then select the image and to make it smaller and keep it within proportion, hold down shift as you move it. So now that I have her in here, if you don't see these things that are at the top, um, this is the tracing window or whatever. You can open up window and um, workspace and essentials classic is what I'm using. So with the photo selected, I'm going to go image trace. And you notice that all of her color has gone. You can go over here to preset and choose how many colors you had in your image. I feel like we're missing one more color, so we're going to move up to six colors. I think we weren't missing a color, so I'm going to undo that. So now that the image is traced, <clears throat> you're going to go back up here to the top and click expand. And I don't know if you guys have ever uh, purchased a file that came in a million teeny tiny, tiny little pieces, but um, this is what it looks like once you expand that file. You see that over here. So what I do is highlight, like I'm going to highlight all the pink. So hold down shift and highlight. Sometimes you need the white boxes and sometimes you don't. So I got all my pink highlighted. I'm going to go up here to object, compound, compound path, and make. And what that did was it connected, connected all of those pink pieces. So now I'm going to connect all the black pieces. And it's the same process. You click your first one, hold down shift, and select all the black pieces. Go up to object, compound path, make. 
So now I'm going to figure out if we need these white pieces or not. The, the very last one is usually the background. So if you select it and hit Control X or Command X, it deletes it. And for these ones, I just go through and turn them off before I delete them just to make sure it's not something that I need. So now I'm going to go through and delete all of those white pieces. Are you guys finding this helpful? I always feel really awkward. Anyway, so now we have our image all um, um, traced and the light colors are together. So I'm going to go up here to file again, save as. It's still Hello Kitty. I'm going to change this file type to SVG and click save. Now, I'm going to show you how it looks once we open it up in Design Space. Most of you probably know how to start a new project or even to put it in the project that um, you already have open. So you go upload image, browse, go to wherever that file is. Here's mine, um, the Hello Kitty SVG. And as you can see, everything's here. It's on a transparent background because we deleted the background. Save. And then you're gonna insert the image into your file. So now we have our Hello Kitty image. And of the two colors, they're separated for you to be able to cut them all together. So I hope this live help someone um i have a some more live video or live tutorials coming up that was just a really quick example maybe the next time i'll do something a little bit more a little less simple um but hopefully you got the idea